Hi everybody, I'm Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Art. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video tip is for pitchers. It involves throwing inside for effect and throwing inside for a strike. I'll explain that when I come back. All right, folks, as I said, I'm Coach McCurry, and today's tip is for pitchers. It involves throwing inside. Now, as you get older, uh, hitters have been around for a while, and they kind of know, based on experience, a lot of the general patterns of pitchers. So, let's say uh, the pitcher starts a hitter off with two straight strikes. It's an 0-2 count. Uh, a lot of times, pitchers are told to move the batter back, okay? So, throw inside. Uh, quite often, they are told to kind of throw it just underneath their elbow here. You're not certainly not trying to hit the guy because you got him 0-2. So you're basically just trying to move him back. You're trying to move his eyes up and away so that he can't lean out over the plate. So you're generally told to throw right up in here. It is a ball. It's, as some people would say, it's a waste pitch. Uh, you're throwing a ball, but you're trying to set up the next pitch. But of course, hitters have been around for a long time, and they know that if they get an 0-2 pitch that is up here for a ball, and the intent is to move them off the plate, and you ask the hitter, okay, well, where's the next pitch going to be? Many times, hitters will say, well, the next pitch is going to be away. Maybe a slider, a curveball, something away, because that was the purpose of throwing this pitch here. Move me away from the plate so that this pitch, the very next pitch, can be a little more effective. Now, as a pitcher, here is one of the best combinations you can do uh, at times for batters. Now, of course, you gotta be accurate here, so that's the importance of being able to throw it on the inside part of the plate. So if I get a guy 0-2 and I do that waist pitch, I throw it just underneath his elbow to move his eyes, then a great next pitch is to then come back inside with a hard strike on the inside part of the plate. Now, quite often you will get batters who will take this for a called third strike, okay? And it goes back to what I said before. If you're throwing this pitch here for effect to move him off, most every hitter is going to expect the next pitch to be down here, okay? Older hitters generally aren't going to be afraid because they've been around, they know, okay, this is a waste pitch. And so I can go back to leaning out over the plate because the next pitch is going to be somewhere over here. So you will get some hitters on the very next pitch start to lean and assume that the next two strike pitch is going to be here. So as a pitcher, one of the best combinations, as I said, after you throw in here for effect, move him off the plate, all right, the next pitch, bam, right here as hard as you can, right on the inside corner. And very often, if you come right back with an inside strike after an inside effect pitch, you'll catch a lot of batters off guard. But of course, the key to that is location. If you just put the ball in this general location, most hitters are not gonna hurt you. What happens is you leave that pitch a little bit more over the plate, and that's when the hitter bites you. You had him perfectly set up for an inside strike fastball for a called third strike, or at least jam him, and you left it out over the plate. Okay, so inside for effect is good. Inside for a strike immediately after is sometimes even better. All right, so work on that location, location, location. Pay attention to that and focus on hitting that inside corner with a strike, and you'll find you'll get a lot of outs that way. All right, folks, well, I'm Coach McCurry signing off. Until next time, best of luck on your baseball journey. Take care.